Hi, Mom. Oh, hello, dear. I'm just calling to see how you like the new cell phone. Uh, what is it? Is it broken already? <laughs> oh, no, dear. At least I don't think so. Why? I, I guess it's the way you answered. Uh, hello? Such a question, as if you didn't know who was calling. I mean, didn't I come up on the caller ID? Oh, yes. I suppose you did, dear. Then what's with all the play acting? Hello? What is that, Mom? Are we really supposed to role-play out a little skit before we can have a real conversation? Oh, don't be silly now. And, and why did it take just so long for you to answer? Well, sorry, dear. I was in another part of the house. Yeah, but I, I sprang extra for the belt clip. It doesn't matter what part of the house you're in when your cell phone is ringing from your hip. Okay, you got me. I just didn't know when to answer the darn thing. It doesn't ring so much as play a little song, and I'm never sure when the song is over, so uh -huh, I don't right. know. Right, it, it, it doesn't matter, Mom. You just, you just answer you know, whatever. I don't like to be rude. There was a little okay. pause, but I thought it might have been that little rest before the chorus or the bridge. Okay, well, you can, just, you can pick a different ringtone. There's a million choices. You just click the upper right-hand button with a little arrow, and then you cycle Ooh, through the menu. Ooh, so and complicated. <sighs> I don't want to trouble anyone. It's none of my business. Uh, all right, Mom. <laughs> Whatever. Uh oh. Oh, what's the matter, Mom? Uh oh, nothing, dear. Go ahead. Oh. Uh, are you okay? I'm fine, dear. Everything is fine. So, how do you like the call waiting feature? Oh, I think it's neato. <laughs> that's that's real funny, Mom, because I just dialed your number from my landline, and now you're totally ignoring my call. I'm sorry, dear. I just think call waiting is so impolite, and, and those noises startle me. There's a million and one space-age features on a top-of-the-line cell phone. They're all wasted. Oh, no, no, no. It's really, really neat and, and so shiny. Uh, hang on, Mom. Uh, the pizza guy's here. Why don't I call you back in a minute, okay? Okay, dear. Bye now. Oh. Hello? Are you kidding me? Uh, we have to do this whole mystery caller skit again? You know it's me, Mom. I know you know, and now you know that I know. Lordy, I do declare, you must have gone and dialed the wrong number. What? Yes, Lando Goshen, Will, you have a nice day now. Goodbye. <sighs> Hello again. Hello, dear. It's you. Hello, son. Yeah, yeah, Mom. Uh... It's much, much better that time. You know, you're never going to believe what just happened. I tried to call you back, but somehow I got hold of a character from Gone with the Wind. My, how funny. Yeah, it's funny, especially considering I just hit redial again, and you answered. So, you know, I'm asking, who are you, Mom? I, I don't even know you anymore. I'll tell you who I am. I'm a woman who was born too late. I wasn't meant to live in an age of cell phones or speaker phones or even the cordless. I miss the simpler times, darker times, when phones were giant and uncomfortably heavy, devices to be feared and obeyed. Every call was a mystery. It might be the president, it might be a pervert, or both. Then again, it might be dialing for dollars, so you had to answer. And there was no redial. You were lucky to have a dial at all. If you did, it was painful and dangerous to use. I couldn't do it without a pencil or a screwdriver. Phone numbers were impossible to remember and even had words in them like Klondike or Pennsylvania. And ringtones? In my time, there was only one ringtone, and it was hardly a song. It was irritating. And it would go on forever if you'd let it, but you'd go crazy long before forever came. Every phone in every house in the country sounded exactly the same, even Perry Mason's phone on TV. Sometimes when Perry Mason's phone rang, you'd answer yours. And call waiting, I'd like to smack you. Once you answered a call, you were committed and stuck with that call to the bitter end. There was no escaping to some other call and no tunnels or dead zones. There was no such thing as a dropped call. And if you got disconnected back then, people knew it was because you'd been stabbed by a hobo and you were laying there in a pool of blood, mouth gaping, eyes rolled back, dial tone droning on and on into oblivion! Mom, Mom, jeez. I, I just wanted to call and see how you like the new cell phone. Oh, thank you, dear. I love it. Yeah. 
For our radio audience, uh, that screaming was uh, the fabulous Mame Pelletier. And I, oh my God, I'm crying. <laughs> um, she didn't want us to make a big deal of it, but Mame is leaving us for Minneapolis. And um, so this is her last show, and we just wanted to let her know that we're really gonna miss her. And uh, good luck, and you better not be on that other show.